Hello, Miracle Workers! Welcome to another special episode of Unlocking Miracles, Genogy's Guide to Life, Love, and Leadership. And for today's episode, I have invited somebody special whom I met in the 100 Days Body Transformation Challenge of Real Talk Darbs. So he is a financial educator and a doctor of physical therapy. He loves to cook, travel, and enjoy life with the family. And yeah, recently I learned that he is a full-time dad. Friends, help me welcome here at Unlocking Miracle, Ralph Joseph Santos. Hi, Ralph. Yes. Hello, hello. How are you? Good morning, Philippines. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, Canada. all the way from Maryland, USA. Yes. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. What are you grateful for today, Ralph? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm grateful. Um, each moment of my life, I'm so grateful, especially in the morning. Uh, when I wake up, I pray right away. Especially katabi ko, lagi eh, ang kids ko. <laughs> yan. Uh, lalo yung baby namin. So, yun. Uh, each day is a, uh, each moment is a miracle. Ayan. Yeah. <laughs> Tama-tama sa ating podcast episode. Ayan. So, recently, I, yun nga, as mentioned in the introduction, na na-meet ko si Ralph through the community of Real Talk Darbs or RTD. I also joined the 100 Days uh, Transformation Challenge. And talagang nakaka-inspire itong taong to kasi I saw his <laughs> commitment, his consistency. So, later on, magkukwento siya ng details on that. But um, I'm giving you the opportunity, Ralph, to share to us uh, some of your miracle stories, na mga dalawa hanggang tatlong stories that you have, so that to inspire our audience. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, hi. Um, miracles in my life. Um, there are a lot of miracles that I can consider in my life. Uh, is pero yung is a sub, uh, big miracle na naranasan ko is when I got reunited again with my family here in U.S. after being separated with them for almost um, more than oh, eight years, right after my graduation um, in USD, uh, way back 2005. So uh, I thought, because I was over age, so my category as in uh, the petition was moved, to category 2B and uh, I thought na for so long uh, I na hindi na ako makakapunta ng US kasi even uh, when I was applying tourist visa for even just to take the exam for the licensure of the of uh, physical therapist here in US I got denied four times kahit na may uh, connection pa akong kinuha sa American Association of Physical Therapy Kahit na ang dami kong invitations, ayun, nadedeny kasi uh, laging sabi, sinasabi sa akin ng consul, there's no reason for me to come back in the Philippines because my whole family is in anyway. But um, unexpectedly, God really works in mysterious ways. Eh, um, unexpectedly, I receive a letter from a uh, U.S. Embassy saying that uh, my schedule for... Uh, for my um, immigrant visa is already set. And yeah, uh, well, uh, August uh, 30, uh, 2013, that's when I arrived here in US and reunited with my family. So yun, so akala ko wala na, wala na pag Wow, nakaka-inspire yung story na yun, Ralph. Um, I, I can also relate to that in a manner na I to experience rejection going to the US. Nakwenta ko sa iyo daba na 2016 kami nang mag-asawa, nakapunta kami ng US. Yeah. But that's our third, that's my third try. No, yes. dalawang beses ako mm-hmm. nag-try din to apply for a US visa when I was still single back then. And yeah. Lagyan denied. Ang sakit sa puso, <laughs> diba? Kasi nag-gastos yes. ka. Sobra. Sobra, sobra. <laughs> Diba? Umasa ka. <laughs> Oo. Kahit anong gawin mo, kahit anong, kung hindi talaga time ni Lord para sa'yo, kung hindi talaga niya plano, 
well, hindi talaga matutuloy. So, I, I just I just wonder what did you do when finally you got the approval? Ano yung una-una mong ginawa? Oh, tawag agad ako sa mom ko. And then sabi ang pinaka binili na sa akin ng mom ko, wag na wag mo sasabihin kahit kanino. Oh, yeah. talaga? Yes, yes, uh, even in a even kasi hangga't ano um yun yung natutunan ko hangga't hindi nabubuo yung isang plano pinlano mo wag na wag mong ikukuwento kahit kanino because you don't know ano ang magiging mindset ng ibang tao sa so maririnig nila sa iyo pwede nila sirain ito kung maiinggit man sila or what pwede nila sirain ng bagay na um makakabuti or ikakaangat mo. Wow. Yeah. Uh, kasi ang dami nagsasabi sa akin, hindi hindi ka na hindi hindi ka na makakapunta ng US. Ilang tao pa na. People were already putting you down. Ay, sobra. Sabi, ano ba? Bakit hindi naman makakapunta ng US? Yan ang tanda na. Eh. Ano ba hindi na makakapunta ng US? Yan. Dahil uh, yun nga, um, lang beses na na-deny yan. And to think na even yung mga mas matataas pa sa iyo akala mo sila yung mga then pero hindi at na here i am <laughs> what was uh, your uh, ano I- i'm curious what was your parang motivation to to still pursue it my motivation i just trust god with his promises every day i learn from my mom my dad to always pray the novena uh, and also um uh every day ask for the guidance of the holy spirit trust him trust the lord that uh what he really planned for you will come true what you kung ano yung nilalaman talaga ng puso mo alamin ng dios kahit hindi mo hilingin pero kailangan mo hilingin kasi gusto niya ng uh communication. Yes. Gusto niya makipag-communicate ka. Ay, ah, syempre, ah, alam niya lahat ng plano niya para sa atin. Pero ano ang nilalaman ng puso't isip? Ano? So, every day, hindi ako, ano, hindi ako nawawala ng pag-asa do. <laughs> May times na I was losing hope dahil do sa mga heartaches, denials, uh, people putting you down, people saying na you will not be able to make it. Ayan. Um, right. Yung, visa, yung passport ko, pinadeliver ko mismo diretso sa ospital para ako mismo agad ang makakuha. That was lunchtime. May tracker yung to go. Uh, may tracker siya sa phone ko and I received calls. And then nakahanda na ang resignation letter ko, ang leave forms ko for two weeks. <laughs> uh, nakaredy na. Actually, uh, approved na. And then nung the moment na nakuha ko yung ano ko, Tawag agad ako sa dad ko. Sabi ko, natanggap ko yung visa. And then, pinirmahan ko yung letter, uh, resignation ko agad. Pero ang sabi sa akin ng dad ko, sigurado ka bang sa passport mo yan? Check mo ko muna kung mandyan na talaga yung visa. <laughs> Ay, kinabahan ako. Then yun, I check the passport. And then, yun, nakita ko yung ano. Nakita ko. Name yan, pinasa ko agad. Na. Name ko talaga, visa ko talaga. Pinasa ko agad right there and then yung uh um resignation letter ko and may flight na rin ako ra- no time na yon which will be like three weeks three weeks after, after you received that was August yeah that was that was tro- August uh twenty eh uh, twenty nine yata ang flight ko na thirty ako yun basa yun uh end of August yung so, nung pagdating so, mo sa US, bilis. anong ginawa mo pagdating mo sa US? Unang-unang pag-apak pag... mo sa soil ng US, anong ginawa mo? Pagdating ko sa US, kinabahan ako dahil naiwanan ako ng aeroplano. <laughs> <laughs> para sa connecting ko. So, uh, kasi yung pila para sa immigrant visa, sobrang haba and isa lang ang nag attend na, no. na uh, officer. And then yun, naiwanan ako. And then rebook ako for uh, na two hours after. After. 
after two hours pa ang susunod na flight ko. Wala akong phone, wala akong connection. Ah, na- Kukonnect ako sa ano, pero ang nakakausap ko lang is yung na- yung sister ko na nasa Pilipinas. Natulog pa nung time na yun. So, kabadong-kabado na yung parents ko sa... That was... Uh, I think in Detroit, yung ano ko nun. Yung... Ano oh, no, no. Uh, oh, O'Hare, O'Hare, Chicago. Oh, so, so yun. Chicago. Then, uh, ang parents ko nasa New Jersey. So, uh, nalaman lang nila na hindi ako nakasakay through the uh, travel agency. Travel agency. Yeah. Na hindi nga ako nakatuloy. And na-rebook ako up na sa uh, next flight after two hours. <laughs> so, may ganun, may ganun pa palang sobra blooper kang na-experience. Oh, sobra, sobra. <laughs> sa sobrang excitement sobra, sobra, sobra. mo. Yeah. Okay. No, no, uh, in, talagang mahaba ang ano, talagang mahaba yung no, pila. Hindi lang ikaw. Ang no, na, marami. Marami, marami kami kayo. Na, marami so, kami it, na, it was probably delay. the fault also of the airport, right? Uh, one of the busiest airport. Tapos oh. isa, isa lang ang officer na nag oh. did, did they charge you for that? Oh. No, no. That was free. That was so, free. Yun yung kagandahan. Kasi may yung kasalanan. Hindi, eh. yun yung kagandahan dito sa US. Uh, karamihan ng flights kapag na ano ka, ire ka lang nila. Oh. For the next flight. Yes. Yun. Nice. Yun, yung first miracle ko. <laughs> so, the, so yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, if you have a similar situation right now na parang feeling nyo hopeless case na yung dream nyo mangyari, mm. huwag kayong mawawala ng loob, just keep on praying, just keep on, um, di ba? Parang do what you have to do, necessary. Yeah. Parang Correct. ikaw naman, nung time na nag-wait ka, I believe hindi ka naman yung nakatunganga. Hindi, hindi. Ba? So no, I was working. working. Yes. Working. I was working as a physical therapist in and, Philippine Heart Center and doon nakagain ako ng 7 years experience. Yes. And then yun nagamit ko lahat siya dito. Pagdating ko dito um, sa US. Yes. Ang maganda agad yung mga ging offers dahil nga kinredit nila lahat ng education, lahat ng experiences ko. Yan. Yeah. So, but the total waiting period uh, was actually 11 years because I was 19 years old when, uh, when you the started was applying. Applied. Yeah, yun yung nung in-apply ng mom ko yung petition 2019. Ah, no, no, no. When I was 19 when uh, it was applied. Then, mm-hmm. 20, yun, 20. So 30, uh, 30 ka na nakapunta ng US. 30, exactly. Old. 30 years old, yeah. So, yan, hindi mo talaga alam kailan dadating. <laughs> yes. Bigla ka nalang yeah. bubulagain at isusurprise. And ah, I yeah. think, kasi nga, and, ano time na yun, medyo prepared ka na nga, sabi mo nga, because of your experience, work experience, uh, uh, hinanda uh, ka rin ni Lord para pagdating mo yes. sa US. Kung baga, hindi ka na may, in dito, a way, di ba, ano ka na, your, your, your credentials will really speak for itself. Uh, magkakaroon ka na ng mas magandang opportunities. Yep, ibang ibang ano dito sa US uh, cultural competency kailangan kailangan na talaga uh, ready ang isang worker uh, kasi ibang iba ang ang kultura dito sa America. Okay. Sobrang ano. So what's yun. your second miracle story? Oh, your second miracle story. Yeah, uh, it will be for my uh my family, uh my wife my uh, two children, my two sons, Aaron and Mateo. So, if I can share you, um, can I share my screen? Two boys pala sila. Yes, yes, two boys. Okay. Yeah. So, may pictures pang papakita sa atin si Ian. Yeah. Ito. So, uh, I'm, so yeah, yeah, I'm a great yes. here in US. Uh, August 30, I'm a doctor. Both me and my wife, we're both doctors of physical therapy. And we have Mateo here, uh, our uh, oldest son. He's already in kindergarten in Royal International Christian Academy here in Maryland. And Aaron is uh, just turned 16 months. Yan. Yeah, yeah, see si Aaron. So he, uh, 
I'm proud to say that yeah, he can sing, he can dance, and his uh, favorite song is "Thank You Lord" by Don Moen. So I have videos in my in my uh, uh Facebook page. Uh, oh, nice! Both of them were singing "Thank You Lord." Ah, uh, we were so surprised. Uh, uh, fifteen months old, sixteen months at fifteen months, he is already singing "Thank You Lord" by Don Moen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, katuwa naman. Mga and yeah, um, yeah, ang um, so uh my family is my biggest uh one of my biggest miracles in life. So I can share that I became being here in US I became a slave of uh jobs here in US, working full time, working uh part time PR, we call it PR and jobs. Here in US, so three companies in total. Three Pero, companies. Yes, and then, yun, um, with our older son, we dropped him at the age of two months old. Uh, kailangan na namin siya i-daycare. Kasi uh, we, me and my wife, we both need to work. Um, we don't know that much about finan financial education here in US. So uh yeah trabaho na trabaho pero uh yun yung ano dito eh um you need uh, mga tao ba on sa mahirap uh nobody's talking about financial education boring yun ka sa ano o mm -hmm. pag pinag-usapan niya iwas ang ng mga tao yeah. but then but then um yeah uh talaga i i want to talaga pati sa US hindi siya yeah. Hindi siya, ganun. hindi siya masyado pinag-uusapan. Hindi siya masyado pinag-uusapan. Pero uh, September 2022, when uh, I decided to join uh, the financial literacy campaign, and uh, yun, uh, I learned everything uh, about um, proper protection, debt management, emergency funds, uh investments and uh estate planning and then um uh slowly uh since alam ko rin ng taxation I slowly lessened my hours because the more uh overtime you incur uh the more taxes you're gonna pay yeah so yun yung ano uh, and iba ang rating ng uh, ng taxes na kailangan mo bayar plus hindi ka pa makakapag-file ng um business uh, expenses dahil uh, we're all working as W2. So yun yung under. Um, we are all employees. So in kailangan mayroon kang 1099 or masarili kang um, business, kahit small business para makapag uh, makapag declare ka ng uh, financial education. And that's what uh, rich people know that we don't know. All our um degrees were all uh teaching us to all be employees nobody will teach you to be an employer or a business owner yan depende na lang kung pag-aaralan mo talaga and you need to go out of your comfort zone and yun uh so make the long story short last december uh i was um I humbly uh, and wholeheartedly able to decide uh, to leave my uh, three jobs uh, as doctor of physical therapy and become a full-time dad uh, to my children. Um, atid sundo uh, for Mateo, bringing them to um, bringing them to appointments, activities. Never missed, and I never missed any. Uh, any activities of my uh, children, which um, dati sobrang hirap kasi nasa trabaho na kailangan pick upin mula agad yung anak mo kasi dumugo yung ilong or uh, may symptoms, kailangan pick upin within 30 minutes and you need to, um, and especially the COVID, saradong school, wala mag-aalaga, saradong daycare, kailangan mo parang mag-leave sa trabaho. So, so yeah, uh, and um the same time December yon, April on my twentieth uh month, 
being part of the financial literacy campaign of World System Builder, I was uh, promoted to senior marketing director as a financial educator. Yeah. But, but that was being a full-time dad at home. Yeah. And this is a, a biggest miracle that happened to me. Handling your um, schedule, handling hawak mo oras mo wala kang wala kang yeah. boss except sa pamilya mo and at the same time giving um and witnessing um milestones the growth naman. the milestones wala uh, yeah. wala kami na miss the milestones ng ano namin ng mga anak namin ayun so wow. what is <laughs> really, what i'm getting from your sharing Ralph is Really, God is a great provider, no? So, parang the yes, moment that you let really go, provide. that you let yeah, go let... of something, He will really yeah. give something better, de ba? Because we akala natin, yes. de ba? Akala natin, eto na yung best option, eh, de ba? Pero de... naninibang ka, kasi ano mas importante, trabaho ba o yung pamilya ko? And in this yes. case, you chose your family. God diba? will provide, and that uh, and that time, yung ano, um, January, pag Patak ng January. First, one million policy, one million dollar policy pumasok, na ipasok ko sa company. Ah. And then, hindi lang yun, nagsunod-sunod pa yun. 1.1 million, 1.6 million, um, 1.5 million. Nagsunod-sunod siya. And to think, nandito lang ako sa bahay. And yun yung ano eh. Ah. Uh, yun yung kagandahan ng ano, na uh, kailangan ang papasukid nyo is may sistema. Alam, kailangan may sistema. Follow the system and let the system work for you. Yeah. You need nice. to be humble enough. Uh, especially, um, gaya nga sinabi sa Bible, do not worry for the future. Let yeah. the future worry for itself because God will really provide for you. Let God, just trust God and, um, God will uh, show you all the solutions. Sandyan na, katabi mo lang. Wala, ka, wala kang dapat gawin. Yeah. Basta magtiwala ka. Galing. Pero syempre, sundin mo kung ano. Bigay mo lahat sa kanya. Sundin mo ang ang laman ng puso mo. Okay? Ikabubuti ng, uh, ng pamilya mo, ng sarili mo. And syempre, ng relationship mo kay Lord. Yan. Wow, beautiful. Nakaka-inspire. So, yung so mga Thank viewers you. natin nanonood ngayon, uh, feel free to engage with us. Type nyo sa comment section. Yes. What are you getting from the sharing of Ralph so far? Meron na siyang dalawang stories yeah. na kunyito sa atin, no? It's more of kwento ng existence, <laughs> kwento ng miracle about being a, a God as a provider na ang uh, akala mo na yung pag nilet go mo isang bagay, di ba, mawawalan ka. In fact, nung nag-let go siya nung, nung, yeah. nung mga dati tatlong trabaho, di ba, binigyan siya ng mas magandang blessing. Di ba, mas magandang opportunity. Yes. So, yan. I'm excited to know that Thank you. ano yung last story mo for us and is it something related do sa <laughs> the transformation yeah. mo? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yun, uh, first was for uh, my family, my parents, my siblings. Second is for my my family, my wife, my children. And this time, this miracle is about myself and also for my children. So um, every day, uh, I see my children. So yun nga, 24-7, lagi ko sila kasama. But then, um, tuwing nakikita ko sila, ang tanong ko, lagi Paano, paano sila kapag nagkasakit ako? Paano sila pagtanda ako? Paano kung mahaba man ang buhay ko pero may baldado naman ako, may sakit ako, hindi ko maibigay yung quality na um, relationship, na engagement with them. Quality time, quality, quantity and quality time with them. Dahil nga... Um, pangit ang, ang health ko. Well, in fact, uh, naramdaman ko yun nung uh, nung anak ang misis ko na wala ako, na ako, na walang kami ng oras sa sarili namin sa exercises dahil kailangan namin um, 24-7 all, every 
two, three hours kailangan namin padadahin si Aaron, alagaan, palitan, patulogin, and then um, at the same time, yung oras namin kay uh, Mateo, kailangan namin ibigay. Uh, and, but then, uh, yun, um, lumaki, tumaba kami pa. Tumaba ako, I was 193 when uh, last June, 193 pounds. And then when I uh, I decided to um uh change my uh habit, my routine kasi uh every year nagpapa-check up ako and uh for annual check up last year um napagsabihan na ako ng doktor ko kasi nag-gain from 167 2022 I was 173 2023 September and then ito na naman 193 na ako And then I decided to um uh make a change in my life. And then suddenly, yun bigla nag pop up sa Facebook ko. Oh. I was browsing the uh, Facebook um post ni uh, Real Talk Darbs, uh yung sa Project Beyond 100 community, and it was a hundred days body transformation challenge. So I registered, and uh yun hindi ko alam kung kaya ko ba. So yun uh. But then uh I just prayed and um uh na sana lagi kong dasal is magkaroon pa ako ng maraming oras para laga ng pamilya ko. And then yun um June 22 and dami namin. Uh 300 kami sa Zoom bukod pa yun sa Facebook Live noon nagwebinar and then uh thousands ang sumali daw nagregister. Pero hindi lahat makapa- hindi nakapasok sa Zoom dahil nga limited yung capacity. So then, uh, thousands daw yung sumali. And then yun, uh, nag-decide ako every day, um, magpo-post ako ng ginagawa ko. So yun, pati steps ko. Um, though um, may alam ako sa exercise kasi I'm a physical therapist and a certified personal trainer. But then, I'm not practicing what I'm preaching. So yun. Uh, in-apply ko, sinubukan ko, even my nutrition, my ha- my wife is a health coach here in uh, US too. And uh, yun, in-apply ko lahat, uh, intermittent fasting, calorie deficit, and meron big uh, webinars. Ang, uh, no, ayun, uh, after 100 days, ah, yun, yun pala, isa pa, meron akong team na hinahandle. Kasi uh, nung, nag, ano, nung nag-webinar, first webinar, ay pinag divide kami into teams, five in each team. And yun nga, uh, ang pinangalanan namin, yung, uh, since paborito ko yung movie, uh, pinala Team Transformers. So, yeah, which goes with the, with the title of the challenge, Body Transformation. So yun, and uh, now, um, may isa na taga Hong Kong, si Ate Mona. na um injured siya so nagtanong siya sa sa uh, that was i think for uh webinar nagtanong siya sa uh, sa coach kung paano kapag may shoulder injury so mi message ko siya after the webinar um kinumusta ko siya uh, nagpakilala ako physical therapist ako and then nawalan pala siya ng uh, team teammate so after one week pa lang nawala na, wala na siyang team so in uh, sabi ko Adapt na kita. Sama ka sa grupo ko. And then yun, uh, tinuruan ko sila. Uh, sumali siya, tinuruan ko sila. And um, yun, um, hanggang dulo. Uh, lagi ko sila kinukumusta. Lagi kami nag... Uh, actually, prayer uh, group ko na rin sila. Nag, uh, nag, uh, tatanungan kami anong problema, anong gusto may pagdasal, anong, ano, anong challenge mo. Yun, tapos magdadasal uh, kami. And then all, uh, tinuturuan ko sila ng techniques. And then nung in-apply nila, nung nakinig sila sa akin, uh, bumilis din yung uh, weight loss nila. And then all the way to uh, the 100. Out of 14 na pinili uh, uh, to be finalist, uh, tatlo kami sa Team Transformers. And then, um, uh, yun, uh, sa awa ng Diyos, uh, yun, um, Mira, milagro kasi hindi ako ang pinakamalaki ang pinayat. Ma, pinakamalaki ang uh, na-lose na weight. Pero um, ako pa rin ang um, naging champion. 
it's because of uh, sabi nila yung engagement with the community kasi nga every day hindi ako nagmiss all webinars nandoon ako and also i was able to bring my team all the way in leadership ko raw nadala ko yung buong team kasi kami na lang ang talaga na tirang team na buo yan so also my team uh, was also recognized as the top team ng challenge ayun <laughs> Galing. So, Nakaka-inspire uh, talaga yun. Kasi... Yeah, I lost, I lost 33 pounds. 33 pounds. Yeah, wow. in 100 days. And uh, ewan ko kung uh, masishare ko yung pictures ko. Hindi. Kasi, Para ma-inspire natin na, yung mga audience natin. Uh, hindi ko siya na-save dito sa... Your transformation. Hindi ko siya na-save dito sa laptop ko. Pero... So habang hinahanap ni Ralph yung kanyang picture transformation. I yeah, think, any questions? Sige. Yeah, I can I can give feedback to that. No, I I also participated in the ano, but unfortunately, uh, nawala ng momentum yung mga kagrupo ko. I was also posting daily, but more on walking oh, yeah. na ginagawa ko. But on not on our Facebook group, but on my personal page. And uh, lo and behold, I think I I influence around two to three people in my network to also start taking care of themselves. So yun, yung bang small actions that we do and we share to others, they can inspire others to tra- transform them yung life nila, no? so to change them yung habits nila. And yes. important yun na we we also share it. No? Huwag naman natin din siyang sarili din lang kasi baka maling mga ma, maling nga natin diba? may ma, ma-inspire tayo along the journey of our transformation correct yeah. and also uh, I wanna share um uh, hin- wag, uh don't think about any excuses think about your goals focus yeah. on the goals consistency focus on discipline ang main key para sa ano Para Saan ka mas sa... nag-struggle na parang in terms of ano, I, uh, sa food, sa exercise, uh, sa tulog? Nag-struggle ako sa, ano, sa, sa tulog. Lagi ako puyat. Kasi puyat. katabi ko la, dahil nga yung, uh, yung anak namin, yun, uh, lagi nagigising yun ako yung nagpapatulog. And then, uh, yung um, sa food, ang hirap. Kasi Uh, may conventions, gatherings, and um, also yung... Yung mga parties. Uh, parties, uh-huh. yes. And then also um, yung kapag uh, exercises, I made sure that every day 10,000 steps makukompleto ko. You exercise alone or meron ka mga bodies yes. exercise? No, no. I, I just... Alone uh, lang. Kaya, Kaya hindi hindi tal- wala talagang ano excuse. Bakit? Kasi I just do everything here in the house. Tapos ah uh, ang ang you ano your eh, own gym din para meron kang mga nag, bigs. Nag um, ano ko ng sarili kong gym. Lahat para uh, karamihan dito Facebook Marketplace lang galing. Ah uh, libre set yung mga ano sarili mo. Nag-set up ako and uh, I Don't go out dahil kailangan ko lagi dito sa bahay uh, to be with my uh, um, children. And then uh, I need to always be on schedule dahil nga dun sa mga activities, appointment. Tapos um, ang ginagawa ko lang ay walking, treadmill ko. Um, I just run but I mostly walk. Most of the time I just walk on a treadmill. Basta makompleto ko yung 10,000 steps from the moment I wake up hanggang sa bago ako matulog. And then I watch my uh, calories uh, na, kina- na intake ko. Then, um, pinaka naging... Depende kasi kung ano magiging effective sa inyo. Uh, but uh, pinaka-effective sa akin ay intermittent fasting and calorie counting. Calorie deficit. Calorie deficit. Ayun. Tapos... Yun, eto yung ano, uh, share ko lang din. Eto ako. Wow, 100. that was day zero. Day zero, yan. And then this was day 100. 
Nice. Yes. After 100 days. And then, Ooh. ito yung ano ko, uh, ito rin ang kagandahan daw. Every Dinocument week. mo kasi. The, uh, documented lahat. So, yan yung day 8, 15, week 1, 2, 3, hanggang week. Yan. Week, uh, May abs ka na talaga. <laughs> Nagkaro. <laughs> Nagkaro. Yan. And then, yan. Uh, yung day 0 and day 100. And yan. Ito yung mga pinasa ko pictures. Ano, yung kailangan magpasa ng pictures. So, yan oh. yung... Ang galing yan ah. Yung Kung ano yung, ano yung itsura yeah. mo ng day zero, ginaya mo rin. <laughs> Ito yung ano ko. Ah, uh, yeah. Kailangan din. Uh, same poses daw. Oo. Pati nga ako, yung... Yung, yung, yung ano lang, yung shorts, hindi na kasi dahil lumit na yung chad mo eh. <laughs> Malalaw-low na yung shorts mo pag yun pa yung shorts mo. Eh. Yeah. Diba? <laughs> Dapat hindi um detalye naman siya pag may garter kaya okay. Ah, okay. So ito yung ta- uh, time na dineclare nila nagulat nga rin ako. Kasi nga hindi nga ako ang pinaka malaki ang na lose pero yun ako pa rin ang dineclare ni Coach. Okay. Uh, Did Dimes. you receive the award, guys? Yeah. Don't meron 100,000 yun eh. 100,000 ba 50? 50, 50 ah, lang. 100,000. Okay. <laughs> Mag-abono pa. <laughs> Dilagdagan yeah. pa eh. Um, bali yung pinakamalaki na lose uh, na weight. Ginawa nilang um, Dr. Green's uh, ambassador. So wow. since yun. Kasi nga, ma- ma- malaki na lose niya. So might as well shape maging endorser talaga. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. And also, wala rin naman ako sa Pilipinas to do that. Oo, oo, oo. Ayan. Ayan. And wow! Uh, Nakakatawa. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Ralph. Very inspiring. Thank you, thank there. you. So, what, what's next for you? Knowing na na-transform mo sarili mo, are you intending to like go into the health and wellness space na helping people din sa ano, transformation? Uh, I've always been doing um this because uh, even in the Philippines, uh, personal trainer ako, mm-hmm. and then when I move here, nag uh, um cert- certified personal trainer din ako. But yun nga, I don't practice what I preach, but um being a physical therapist, seeing the elderly, mm-hmm. araw araw, because ang ang trabaho ko before bago ako mag ano, is skilled nursing facility. That's the home for the aged dito sa ano. Na sila yung, yun yung transition ng kung hindi pa makakauwi ang pasyente from hospital to their home. Dadaan sa inyo. For the, dadaan sa amin. So that will be a hun, hundred days of uh, of qualified uh, stay para mag, uh, mag-rehab, mag-therapy. So every tapos yung iba hindi na nakakauwi doon na naga sa long term care. Karamihan dito ng matatanda ay nasa nursing home, long term cares, independent living, assisted living. And karamihan hindi na iaanda ang retirement nila. Hindi na iaanda ang finances, ang sarili nila, ang health nila sa pagtanda. And then, yun, yun yung ano, uh, araw-araw na no, with witness ko. And tanong, what if we die too soon? Or what if we live longer? Yeah. Pero may sakit naman tayo, disabled naman tayo. But the answer is we should start now. There's no excuse, I will start tomorrow. No, hindi pa ako ready. Hindi. Walang excuse. Um... Sabi niya, nag-aalaga ako ng, uh, ng magulang ko, nag-aalaga ako ng anak ko. Hindi, ako rin nag-aalaga. Yeah. Yan. O, um, uh, lagi ako nag sa oras. Pero anong, ang ginawa ko ay HIIT tra- hit or HIIT, High Intensity Interval Training, which is yung ginawa ko yung program ay 18 minutes lang per day. That's just four times a week. And the rest, walking. Mostly okay walking. Yeah, and uh, uh, I, ang kailangan lang is, hindi yun yung um, sa diet, hindi yun yung kung ano ang kakainin mo, hindi. Kung kailan ka kakain. And gano'ng karami ang kakainin mo. Kahit ano kinakain ko. But it's just the matter of what time will you eat it? 
breakfast is not the uh, so most yung important. So, IF mo ba, you don't, you don't eat breakfast? Yung IF mo? You don't I, eat don't, I don't eat breakfast. Uh, basta pagdating ng gabi, um, o orasan ko na sarili ko, kakain na ako after 16-20 hours. Yun. Um, we, in between, so on my fasting, uh, ang inano ko lang is water, black iced coffee, or tea. Hindi tea. pwede cream, walang sugar, hindi pwede sugar, walang, sugar yes. walang stevia, walang alternative, walang honey, hindi pwede. And uh, wag nyo rin lagyan ng anak. Huwag niya rin lagyan ng lemon kasi magiging acidic naman niya. Ano, baka sumakit yung chan niya. Yan. Mm-hmm. Pero yan, don't do it. Huwag niyong bigla yung sarili niyo. Unti-unti niyo. Everything, kahit ano, um, huwag niyong bibigla yung sarili niyo. Even the exercises. Yes. You don't need to push yourself so hard. Kasi kung hindi handa ang katawan niyo, injury lang ang ano. Sakit lang ang abutin niyo. Kung hindi kayo, as always as a professional, Huwag kayong magsusubok uh, ng kahit ano nang hindi nyo kinukonsulta ang doktor or dietitian, nutritionist, or even a personal uh, trainer. Yun. Kasi baka lalong mapalala ang mga yes. uh, ano. And also, syempre, it's a mindset game. Mindset. Yeah. Kap- sa tuwing papa, mapa... Actually ba, uh, even in the business or um in this kinds of uh, challenges it, there these are all mindset games um at the beginning kailangan mong alamin po ano yung mga deepest wise mo yung mga bagay na isulat mo five five main reasons bakit mo gustong gawin to yung mga bagay na talagang iiyak ka sa tuwing mababasa mo to sa tuwing makikita mo yung papel na sinulatan mo sa tuwing makikita mo yung rason kung bakit mo gagawin to For me, it's my family, my children, my wife. I want to be with them longer. I want to be with them with quality and quantity time. And yun, um, sa tuwing mapapagod ka, sa tuwing panghihinaan ka ng loob, sa tuwing tatama rin ka, sa tuwing gugustuhin mong kumain ng kung ano-ano, sa tuwing mag excuse ka sa sarili mo, bukas ko na lang gagawin ito. And ayoko, tinatamad ako. Ay, umulan, umaraw, kahit anong ano. Kaya, kung may goal ka, finish your goal uh finish uh the plan for your goals and uh always focus consistency focus and discipline yun yung mga kailangan para maging successful in life regardless if it's business or a challenge or even uh the job that we are doing um we need to make sure that uh our heart is there and uh always think about your deepest wise in order for you to succeed. Parang charging station ng uh, cellphone. Tuwing nalolobat ka, tingnan mo kung uh, yung mga sinulat mo and yan, babalik ka sa track mo. You'll be, go back and track and always trust the Lord that um that He will help you, He will provide for you and He will guide you all the way, all wow. throughout your journey. It's yeah. not about the jo- It's not about the destination. It's the journey. Enjoy journey each moment especially with your family yeah. wow beautiful okay. what i'm really getting you, sa you. sharing ni Ralph is it is more than just the doing it's the becoming you know how are you becoming as a person diba? you're getting better diba? you you really want to aim to become a better person because ultimately gusto mo talaga makapag-serve pa makapagbigay pa ng pagmamahal sa kapwa mo And to honor our creator, yeah. kasi nga, di ba, if we know who we really are, we are created in His image and likeness, then kailangan alagaan naman talaga natin yung katawan, katawan natin, natin. di ba? Temple Correct. of the Holy Spirit and all that. And also, paano nga naman natin, kumbaga, how how can we inspire? Gaya ng sabi mo, di ba, you have to practice what you preach. Kasi paano mo ka naman may inspire yung ibang tao na sumunod sa'yo, being a professional, kung Yeah. You yourself, you're not actually doing it to yourself. So ngayon, you walk the talk, it's easier for you to influence more people to also be yeah. a better person. So thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Rob, where can they follow you? Where can they, uh, any social media accounts you have or email address that you can share to our audience para they can get in touch mm-hmm. with you para kung may mga tanong pa sila. Sure. 
or they want to to be ano parang baka gusto nila magpa-coach sayo, magpa-mentor yan. Please share to sure, us. No problem. Uh, actually, ang dami ko na ngayon um kino-coach and uh yeah, uh, Kaizen, may mga may mga communicate sa akin na nasa challenge sa Kaizen and then even my friends in Philippines, here in US too. Yan. Um Facebook page ko, uh, Ralph Joseph Santos. And the one wearing the red. Teka, andito pa ba? Ayan. We'll also share that link of uh, that page sa ano, comment section para you can get to follow Ralph. And... Yeah, so just add me on Facebook, Ralph Joseph Santos, send a message. Yan. And then, yeah, pakilala lang kayo. And then, uh, let's see uh, what can I do to help you guys? Hi. So, regardless, financial, education, health, um, inspiration, motivational, or what, any advice, I can, let's see what I can do to help. Yeah, and also being a father, kasi hands-on father ka na ngayon, di ba? Yes. So, yes. Uh, but I still, I, I go out, I go out uh, to help my wife, kung may kaila kung kailangan ng tulong sa patients niya. So, I guess, mm. I guess to go out. Basta may maghahalaga sa anak uh, niya. Anak niya. Okay. Yeah. Ayan. That's it, guys. Uh, I hope that this episode has uh, added value to your life. Nakaka-inspire talaga yung mga miracle stories na shinare sa atin ni Ralph. And if you feel na naka-resonate kayo sa story ni Ralph and you need to get in touch with him, I encourage you to do that para ma makapag-support siya sa inyo, sa journey ninyo, whether in your finances or in your personal uh, health journey. Um, please do that. No? So my invitation, everyone, is to continue to unlock more miracles in our lives and be a blessing to more people. Cheers and see you in the next episode. Bye! Thank you. Bye-bye.